Tomorrowland, Adventureland, Fantasyland, Curry Country, uh, New Orleans Square, and Tin Town. As you may already know, I just listed off the lands at Disneyland. <laughs> Today I'm going to be introducing you to the some of the perks Disneyland employees have. Uh, per their company, the company profile, Disneyland Resort is the number one employer in Orange County, and they employ roughly 25,000 employees, including my wife that's been there since '99 as a uh, travel agent. The uh, first perk, the three main topics I'll be discussing today are park admissions. Cast, cast member exclusive events and and of course discounts. The first one is the um, park admissions complimentary passes to Disneyland. Um, each cast member roughly gets about 12 passes per year um, that they can share with the family and friends or whoever the acquaintance is. And on top of that, they get they get to check in their family using this card. Um, it could be family, it could, it could be friends also. So every time they use this card, they could bring in a, roughly three people, or depending on their dependent count, it could be up to six or seven. So depending on how many children they have, uh, they could you know sign them in. That's what they call it. So they can enjoy the park just as a regular guest. The next one is their cast member IDs. They, they can go, cast members can go to Disneyland any day of the year. Uh, they can use their IDs and just walk in like a regular guest. And when they're in the park using their IDs, they are as a regular guest and they, you know, they can enjoy the park all day long, any day of the year, as long as there's no, you know, private events, um, like little months, like, um, Halloween time, or or even uh, during Christmas Christmas time. Um, the next one is annual passes. They get di discounts on annual passes for their children, or sometimes even friends that they can sponsor. And they they roughly get about ten percent discount um, towards the annual passes. So you know, even though their kids already get into the park for free. Um, they could buy one of these and they could go on their own actually, you know, if they're above 14 years old. Um, the next topic I'll be discussing are uh, cast exclusive, <laughs> cast member exclusive activities that are, that they have. Uh, the first one is called Little Monsters. Um, it's one time, it's only one day a year where they, it's closed out to the regular pu uh, public guests and it's only for their kids. You know, for their kids to enjoy trick or treating, uh, it's, it's it's in substitution of you know going out to the, to your regular neighborhoods. They could and do the same thing inside the park. Um, you know, collecting treats from different points of the park. You know, usually there's about 20 points in the park where you can just go walk up to a line and get a treat or something. Um, sometimes they're pretty good treats. Um, there's one year where they had like they were giving out DVDs. You know. Cartoon, you know, Sleeping Beauty, and you know, stuff like stuff that are in the vault, and they just want to, you know, give out as treats. Uh, the next one is the service award. Um, every every five years after their tenth year anniversary, they have a banquet called the service award, and at the banquet they go all out. Um, it's it's sort of like a huge giant wedding. They combine all the ballrooms together. Uh, they have like three different um, dance floors, you know, different kind of type of music, um, hip hop, pop, you know, even older generations. Because some of their, some of their employees are up to 15 to 20 years at, with the company. And you know, it's 20 years of different, different generation, different type of music. So that's why they have different ballrooms. And open bar, I mean, 
everything. So they, they, they don't spare anything at these service awards banquets. Uh, the next one are the 5 a.m. canoe races. Uh, they hold these uh, one time a year, uh, and it's a uh, first come, first serve. But there's there's a lot of amount how many people can actually enjoy this event. Um, so they open up the park to these to these uh, cast members, and they have canoe races for prizes and stuff like that. Uh, maybe additional tickets to the park, um, but this is like. The crack of dawn, and it's it's pretty exciting. It's pretty fun to you know be in the park at like five o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's totally different atmosphere. Nobody's around, no guests. You know, it's, it's just canoe racing. Uh, the next one is our is discounts. Um, cast members get up to thirty five percent discounts any time of the year at any at any uh, Disney store. Um, the ones in the the ones in the mall. The uh, the ones in the park, um, even even abroad to like Tokyo and um, Paris, you know they also get thirty five percent discount there. And then there's certain times of the year, like like the holiday that's coming up, they get to up to forty percent, uh, sometimes fifty percent. And then that, the next one is Company D. That's their team store that they have. Um, it's offsite. It's uh, it's, it's sort of like a warehouse building. It's, you know, it's not nothing formal. It's just you know products that they they've had on the shelf maybe for a while, and they uh, that's automatically fifty percent off. And uh, during the holiday seasons, they have an additional forty percent on top of the fifty. So you know, people go crazy on them. And the lines go like wrapped around the building. It's like Black Friday pretty much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so so. Uh, that's that's a little bit about uh, the perks that these high class farmers get, and uh, I hope you guys can enjoy their little world. All right, Nathan, uh, organizational stuff is not problematic. You've got a preview, uh, there's uh, an attention device. We know generally where you're going with this. You use the visuals to signpost and structure the material as you go along, so that's not problematic. Remember, the emphasis here is on the presentation, and I, and I think that there are a few things that you'll be able to pick out when you watch your video back that you'll understand. You, you know, I'm sorry, you needed the injection of caffeine. I, I didn't. <laughs> you, you just seem a little tired and worn out, and I'm afraid it comes across like you're kind of bored talking about this. And here's a subject that's, you know, most people go, well, that sounds kind of cool. That sounds like it's fun. And you're going, and, you know, 
you got this advantage and this advantage, and it's it's like, and sometimes you can do these kinds of things, and that's kind of neat. And it just sounds like you're so disconnected from what you're talking about. This is a subject that ought to be fun and invigorating. Just the very start, when you start listening to lands, for instance, uh, you you could have adventure land, fantasy land, critter corner. No, that's not my house. It's in fact Disneyland. You guys probably knew that, and uh, just a little, you know, extra personality and involvement. You just sound tired, and I don't know. Maybe you are tired. Maybe that's part of the issue. Uh, that, that's, but it's affecting the presentation. You're leaning on the desk the whole time that you're doing the presentation. That's another one of those things. That I've got to be here, and I'm just not. You, you, I don't think you're engaging with the audience. You're per, you're standing in front of us. You're speaking, but you're not connecting with us and a lot of that just requires putting yourself into the speech a bit more and there are several places where that just doesn't happen you you smiled more in my response to your presentation than you did in the whole presentation that you gave and that's you know you're a human being people want to connect with human beings we don't want to just look at a brochure or see a list of stuff we want to hear you talk about those things and you've got to get yourself into this speech a lot more Language issues are a couple of things that contribute to that because your transitions are all next, 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 you know, another thing. And it just sounds like I'm listening to a list. You, again, this would be one of those places where a little bit of uh, personal language here. One of the things that I especially enjoy as a perk is being able to be checked in by my wife when uh, we go to Disneyland. We don't have to do that. Okay, so that's the way to make the transition to that particular point. Hey, you know, if my wife's not always available to check everybody in, the nice part is that's okay because the kids can get a discount card, you know, if they're over 14 and we can, you know, you know they can get an annual pass at a discount, you know, and tell us about that sort of thing. So it's, it's more like you were telling us a story and involving us in this sort of thing rather than just, you know, going through the checklist of uh, the perks that are going on here. I'm sure that when you watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about. You look like you already know what I'm talking about a little bit, you know. It's, it's, it's dry, and the subject ought to have some fun and personality to it. And I, I, I know it sounds like I'm ragging on you as a human being, but I'm, I'm talking about you as a speaker. You have to put a little extra effort into it. Okay, thank you.